Now get back up and fight again. And you're a macho maniac. Dig it. Hello everybody, Uncle Wooly here for part three of the adventures of Papu in the Lands Between, known as Elden Ring. My goodness, Hegel GG's on first, and also uh, we got ourselves a little Twitch baby. So uh, if you want to name that thing, if you want to name that thing, go ahead and give it a name. Jared, thanks for the Macho Men. Also, who else did we have first? We had Sword and Jack and DJ Wife, oh my. <laughs> Hopefully you all had a wonderful weekend, it is good to see you all. The hairiest baby of all time. Well, you know, some babies are born with a little more uh, follicle expression than others, and that's okay. That's okay. We will not shame them for the amount or uh, lack of hair that they may or may not have. We won't shame them. All right. How is everybody? You have a good weekend? I had a good weekend. I got to visit some friends this weekend. Got to uh, go out on the lake. Uh, and my goodness, <laughs> uh, Quantum, it is good to see you. It's been a little while. Thank you so very much for those five gifted. That is never expected, but uh, very, very, very much appreciated. Those went to... Uh, uh, Pita, Sleepy, Raspy, uh, Your Mother is a Fish, and uh, Festive Tomato. If uh, any of uh, those chatters are hanging about or lurking, uh, feel free to thank uh, Quantum uh, for those gifted subs. And of course, enjoy the emotes, enjoy the ad free, courtesy of the Quantum Flounder. My rabies and distemper are up to date. That is good, Hegel. That is good. Just because uh, they took me to the shelter instead of the nursery doesn't mean I don't have feelings. That's true. That's true. Uh, thank you. Holy cow. The uh, the resub from Hegel at nine months and, of course, the gifted uh, <laughs> in the amount of five from Quantum. You guys are starting it off like crazy. And Alt, good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, and Wimpy, good to see you too, dude. Uh, it was great seeing you this weekend and good uh, spending some time out on the water. That was uh, exactly something I think that my soul needed. And also uh, just to get some, get some good food as well. <laughs> it was a wonderful weekend. Uh, let's see here. Just uh, making sure I got things up to date here. If I missed anybody's messages, please let me know. And uh, Quantum, uh, it has been a while since I've seen you stream. Are you back to streaming? Uh, looked like you were playing some Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Let me get you a shout out and I'll also get Hagel uh, one of those sweet shout outs too. <clears throat> uh, tonight's stream beer is from Disgruntled Brewing and it's called Allegiance and it's in American India Pale Ale. It is a West Coast style IPA brewed with Citra, Simcoe and Centennial hops. The freshening malt base pulls citrus and piney notes forward, bringing together a crisp and hoppy taste profile. Cheers. And uh, their little tagline is um, grumpy is good. And also uh, choice hops, fine malts, and an occasional grumble, which uh, is kind of what it feels like when I play these games. You know, just a, a little grumble from time to time. This thing clocks in at six and a half percent. So it should be enough to get me through the evening, I think. And I suppose I can give you a little bit of puppy cam while I get this thing poured out here. <laughs> There's Roxy. Lucy's being elusive, but she's very, very much present. Uh, Roxy, full disclosure, she had some mobility issues over, uh, over the weekend. And so she's kind of been up around and moving a lot better uh, this afternoon and evening. So I'm very, very happy to see that. So if, uh, if you don't see her kind of quite like her typical energetic and crazy self, uh, that that might be why. But uh, we've been trying to lift her, you know, carry her up and down the stairs so she doesn't re-aggravate any injuries or anything. But uh, seems to be doing a lot better uh, this afternoon. 
getting up there in age, so you know we get our our worry on quite a bit. Anybody else get up to uh, any fun activities over the weekend or a lot of adulting, get some chores done, get uh, any visitation with friends or family in? There we go. Now that beer is uh, growing up on the Discord. Uh, the other beers that I tried from this brewery over the weekend at their tap room is I did have, they had a strawberry cheesecake sour, which was amazing. And I don't typically see black IPAs or black lagers at a, at a lot of breweries. And so when I saw they had a black lager on tap, I was, yes, give me one of those, please. And I was very, very happy because uh, it had that rich kind of toasted malt kind of flavor um, that really, really works well in a beer. Uh, I'm a big fan of that. So that was, uh, was very, very much worthwhile. Hey, Rax. Lucy, are you going to say hi to people? Lucy, are you going to say hi? <laughs> no? Lucy. Come here, Lucy. Come here, Lucy. Nope. I'm sorry. <laughs> She's being antisocial tonight. And that's okay. And that's okay. All right. Cheers, everybody. This is the Allegiance uh, American IPA from Disgruntled Brewing. Cheers. give Hegel his shout out. And uh, for those that don't know, um, we haven't had a chance to raid uh, this content creator, um, but I've been to their streams a couple times in the past. Uh, they're a member of, I think, uh, the Hellcats or the Hellraisers, the Hellraisers uh, stream team. It is uh, Dr. Decomposing. Uh, did the first non-standard controller hitless uh, run of Elden Ring and did so in like under three hours. Um, so I'm going to give Doc a shout out here and uh, in a minute. <laughs> oh, it's got to be Lighthawk, I bet. <laughs> and uh, Doc did uh, amazing, amazing work um, so please, please go say hello to Dr. Decomposing. And I am going to be decomposing after my death, after that malicious uh, <laughs> amount of biddies from uh, Lighthawk, dude. Every time. Every time. And, uh, you know, you used to do it fairly regularly to the point where it was expected, and it's still... It still got me off guard every time. And now you've like left quite a few weeks in between one of those. And yeah. <laughs> um, I'm not sure what that word is, Lighthawk, but I'm, I'm sure it's. Uh, yeah, it was scary. But thank you for the biddies, dude. How's your summer? How are you doing? Are we going to see you doing any more streams soon or? Uh, or the summer sports still got you quite busy. Because we miss you, dude. We miss you. Okay. <laughs> uh, I don't miss, you know, the bleeding eardrums, but I do, uh, I do miss you. Uh, this week is last week for summer sports. Uh, local Legion team made it to regionals. Whoa, congrats to them. GG's. GG's indeed. Okay, so we are playing Elden Ring, I think. <clears throat> yeah. I love the title music. 
the title music is so good in this game. And Papu is currently at, uh, excuse me one second. Uh, Papu is level 25. <laughs> Thank you for the Wilhelm scream biddies too. Um, and we are eight hours in and we just made it to Scornvale Castle. Um, does what still have the flashbang? I know there was a recent patch for the game, but uh, I got a little bit better. But I have yet to get good. <laughs> um, let me check my audio levels here real quick. On... I think the game might be up just a little bit. Let me pull that down just a tad. There we go. It might be a bit better. Oh, stupid thing. I'm so happy you let me know, Jack. Uh, the bot was supposed to turn that off. <laughs> uh, I'll get it figured out before next stream. Thank you very much for letting me know, too, by the way. Thank you very, very much for letting me know. Does it go from black to all white and sear your retinas? Uh, it does. It does. Emmy, welcome in. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean for it to be on uh, on subscriber only. Uh, I, I started switching it to that when I'm off stream, but I forgot to uh, flip it back. And the bot was supposed to do it, but it didn't. So we'll get it figured out. We'll get it figured out. But good to see you. <laughs> welcome on in, everybody. Hopefully I can play a little bit better at the game tonight than I have been at managing my own chat. <laughs> uh, Leanne, I'm quite enjoying it. Um, the mix of the exploration plus the uh, the fluid gameplay is so good, but it's just going to take me some while to get used to, I think. Because I am very much a panic roller, and this game loves to punish panic rollers. Um, just the reach of the... Uh, the enemies plus the uh, the delayed timing is just so painful for panic rollers like me. So one thing I know is there's a weapon that Wimpy kind of gave me a hint on. There's a good weapon for my build somewhere in the south, and that's all I know. So I'm going to go back down here and do some exploration to see if I can find that weapon before I proceed with uh, Stormvale Castle. We're panic rolling, and I super panic roll, and I still sometimes suffer from it. Yeah. <laughs> well, if I would find the good weapon already, I know. I should do some exploring. I should do some exploring. And Leanne, how are you doing? Uh, you were last playing some Stardew. I know you were... Um, a while ago, working on a Soul Level 1 run of Dark Souls 1. Hopefully that is going well, or hopefully you return to it soon, if it if it wasn't going too well. <laughs> um, you know, Wimpy, there was a lot of area, I think, over here that I haven't even explored, but I do want to go back to the bridge because I never took out the guys on this bridge either, so... I'm gonna go check the bridge out just real quick. Hey, fire medic, welcome in, dude. How is your Monday? Hopefully you're well. Hopefully you had a great weekend. Uh, let's see here. Oh, does it take stamina for, oh, that's why I couldn't double jump. Hey, <laughs> that's my beer. Hey, that is my beer, but you're more than welcome to grab a pint and chill out here. Uh, yes, she games. Welcome in. <laughs> welcome in. Cheers, Raiders. My name is Uncle Wooly. This is my first playthrough of Elden Ring. Welcome on in. 
Who do we have as Raiders? Uh, yes, she games. Uh, the Silent Bob, one, two, three. Welcome in, Silent Bob. I'm happy uh, that you extended words of gre uh, words of greeting and that you weren't too silent. <laughs> but let me get you a shout out. Um, and with all of our Raiders, if you have preferred nicknames or preferred pronouns, uh, feel free to let me know in chat. I do want to make sure you feel welcome here. Um, let me read your raid message here. Uh, uh, the Dodogama cult has come to raid. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Um, so tonight we're sipping on, it's a American IPA, uh, West Coast style um, by Disgruntled Brewing, and it's called Allegiance, and it's pretty nice. I don't know what the IBUs are on this thing, but it is at 6.5%. Bob is definitely not silent. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome in. And I see you're playing Elden Ring too. Are you on a first playthrough? Um, are you on a challenge run? Uh, I'm currently on my first playthrough of the game. Feel free to share as much or as little as you want. I just ask that maybe you refrain from spoilers. And also, I'll share uh, the puppy dog camera with you uh, raiders because if you haven't met them yet, you probably should. Uh, the Jack Russell there is Roxy. She's uh, 14 and a half. And our uh, very elusive Lucy, uh, the Shih Tzu, uh, she is five. She just turned five last week, and she's just being very elusive this summer. <laughs> Thank you for the new follow, too, by the way. Yep, total cutie. Yeah, and they got their watermelons up for the summertime. Oh, you have a four-year-old Shih Tzu. Aw. Oh, what's their name? If you don't, if you don't mind sharing. And yes, thank you for the, uh, the other follow there, too. Um... Uh... Oh, you missed the beer because of the kids, Hagel? Yeah. Love the puppers. Makes me want to get a pet. Or or makes me want to go pet mine. Well, you probably should, Fire Medic. You probably should. <laughs> Her name is Panda. She is white and black. Oh, my goodness. How cute. How cute. Let's see if we can coax Lucy out. Let's see if we can do that. Or should we just do a, a puppy treat since we got some raiders here? Um currently doing a challenge run i won't spoil anything as it is a gorgeous game this is amazing playthrough as a first time so are you doing like a rl1 run or a very specific challenge run hey spider matt good to see you dude my goodness my goodness good to see you yeah we'll do some puppy treat since we got some raiders here oh there's lucy there she is <laughs> She's a bit of a, a bit of a shaggy girl right now. She's due for a grooming in a couple weeks, so she'll be a lot less shaggy uh, very, very soon. Uh, one hand on the controller is on disabled on my right hand, and to raise awareness. Very cool. Um, are you familiar with um, trying to remember the name of the charity? Is it Able Gamer Charity? I think does a lot for that. And are you so are you using like a standard controller then on um, that way, or are you using a, an adaptive controller either from uh, the newer ones that PlayStation came out with or uh, or Xbox? Uh, regardless, though, very very cool and very very much a worthwhile thing to raise awareness for. That is so cool. Spider Matt is so good to see you, dude. We miss seeing you around these parts. Hopefully you're doing well. Uh, Able Gamers is amazing. I'm using a standard PS5 controller, as there aren't too many adaptive controllers I can use yet, but me and a friend always work on trying to make adaptive. Very cool. Very cool. Um, we made... Um, my sister-in-law um, has cerebral palsy, and we made her a little sound box out of a Raspberry Pi with some uh, Python scripting to trigger sound bites. Um, to try to make it to where she could press a button and communicate her needs. Uh, she's verbal, but just not, she can't speak English. And so we uh, did that to try, to, <clears throat> excuse me, to try to get it to where she could uh, um, communicate some basic needs and things like that. So um, definitely, definitely um, a spot in my heart um, for any of our disabled community members. And definitely very, very cool that you're raising awareness to that. Um, 
Yeah, it doesn't get used too often, though. Um, I think she does have some trouble with it. So and that's very much an alpha build. So we're going to have to maybe re revisit the drawing board and make her something a little bit better. But uh, we'll get there. We'll get there. But we'll get you some uh, puppy treat here. <laughs> I'll get done rambling. Good puppy dogs. Hey, great ghost. Good to see you, dude. Yeah, I'm sorry, Hagel. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, Akito Man, welcome in. And if I pronounced your name incorrectly, please let me know. Uh, but welcome in. Nice to see you. Uh, my goodness, everybody. <laughs> um... That is true, Mort. Uh, I hope that I can finish my first playthrough by the time that comes out. <laughs> NPC in Firelink Shrine was uh, despondent because he dropped his toothpaste. He was a crestfallen warrior. <laughs> oh my goodness, Arthur. Good to see you, dude. Love the pun. Lucy, what did you grab? That is not a puppy treat. <laughs> that is not a puppy treat. Lana. 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 Lana! What? You little bandit, you. <laughs> Danger zone. <laughs> uh, Danger May, welcome in. She was in the danger zone. She was in the danger zone. Roxy, way to be a censor for your sister who has no shame. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh my goodness. I hate to raid and run. Totally, totally understand. Please, please, please take care of your uh, post stream self care needs. Um, and can I call you uh, She Games for short? Or do you have a preferred nickname? Um, let me give you uh, another shout out here. Please, please, please take care of yourself. Um, I'm going to go to bed and I'll be lurking. Thank you so much for the warm welcome. Thank you so very much for the raid. That is much, much appreciated. You could have gone anywhere and you chose here. So, uh, Nikki, if you want. Okay. Well, I, I do appreciate beans! that. <laughs> Danger man, good to see you. Uh, I got beans. Please. I got beans. I got beans. You, need you would do that, Danger man, wouldn't you? <laughs> uh, I'll take Lucy off camera since she all she seems to do is just moon everybody. Uh, but thank you very, very much for the raid. And can we get some hearts in chat for uh, for Nikki, please? Thank you, thank you, thank you for sharing your community. Mort, it is good to see you. I can never get past a certain season in Archer. I can't remember if it's three, four, or five. I can't remember either. It's been a while since I've watched. Yeah. Snacrificed. I guess it's time for me to have a treat, too. Got some beans. Some beanie, beanie beans. Okay. Let's spin for the fiery one first. Jalapeno. Jalapeno. For the danger of May. And a regular bean is a uh, wonderful pomegranate or old bandage. Oh, this should be a uh, delightful, delightful combo. Delightful. Okay. We'll uh we'll give you some full camera for this one, Danger May. The double bean supreme, jalapeno, or old bandage, possibly pomegranate, hopefully. Cheers. Hmm. <laughs> This is the worst. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better, Jack. Mmm. Oh. If it was 
jalapeno pomegranate probably would have been amazing. <clears throat> but a little bit of spice opening up that old bandage was, oh. It's wrong. It's wrong. It does kind of taste like pennies. Um, peach habanero, that is good. Yep, I agree with you, Fire Medic. That one is good. Um, I don't know if anybody's ever had a Band-Aid on and you went swimming and it, like, fell off and then you pick it up and you can kind of, like, smell the mix of that with, like, chlorine from the pool or something. That's what that bean tastes like, what you would imagine that smell would taste like. It's awful. It's so bad. It is so bad. Imagine swimming in a pool, right? Cheap soap they have in... Oh, yeah? Whatever it is, it's... Uh... Ugh. Ugh. Danger May, thanks for the beans, but uh, my stomach is not, not happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Can we do the sneak? Can we do a sneaky sneak? Oh, we have another stone sword key. That's good. Oh no, I messed it up. <laughs> these guys, oh, they can jump. Not only can I jump, but they can jump too. That is good to know. Okay, we're fine. We're a little uh, better leveled going through this area now. <sighs> okay. We got another key. We could go to the round table and do something with that. We have tomatoes, basil, jalapeno, habanero, ghost peppers. Uh, very nice. Excited to make some fresh homemade pico de gallo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that sounds really good. Uh, pico is amazing. Oh, they heard me. All right. Come on, boys. Ouch. Yep. That hurts people. That hurts people. There we go. Yeah, we have a cherry tomato plant and a habanero plant. So I'm, I'm excited to have some fresh habaneros from there. Got some that are getting pretty big, but they just haven't uh, really changed color yet. And I guess I don't know enough about habanero plants. Do they, uh, do the peppers just kind of stay green until after you pick them? Or do you have to wait till they start changing uh, before you pick them? Because I've, I've never grown peppers before. Loves to cook, so we're uh, making our own cookbook with recipes we make uh, in it with a comment and a five star. That's very cool. Um, and that's setting him up for a very good future, I think, because 
learning to cook and getting a love for it at a young age is very important because I didn't learn a whole lot about cooking when I was younger and I wish I would have because I think I would be probably better at it and also more adept at uh, wanting to do it. <laughs> so is it the same with peppers then, uh, Arthur? That is true. That is true. Uh, can definitely learn a lot from videos. And YouTube is so good at that. I should say wait until they're ready to pick tomatoes. I Yeah. And the cherry tomatoes have been ripening on the vine. It's just uh, never grown habaneros before. Let's see, so that wasn't quite the way I needed to go. But the question is, can I double jump with uh, Torrent here? Nope, not quite. <laughs> not quite. already kind of done this area. Well, I say that. And then I haven't gone up this thing. Did they follow me? Looks like a big drop. And it looks like I can maybe. Yeah, there we go. So, Wimpy, um, I guess I'll ask you one question Am I already too far south? Those plants from his horticulture class from school, so I purchased them uh, when he was helping. Oh, very cool. See, I, I love school projects like that, that uh, teach actual like life skills that you can use throughout your life instead of just something that you'll only use in school and that's it. Uh, big fan of that. Big fan of that. <laughs> I will as soon as it's safe, Wimpy. And hunters, welcome in. Good to see you. Yeah, I should probably heal. Should probably heal. Plant some marigolds around them. Okay. That is good to know. Nope. Nope. Ouch. What about these bugs, Arthur? These big mosquitoes. Anything I can plant to get rid of these? Uh, going pretty good, Hunters. Uh, we got um, Margit and Leonine the Misbegotten last stream. So we kind of got over that first little speed bump of the game, you could say. 
classes in hunting and fishing too. It's so cool. Like, why didn't I have that, right? <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, pretty nice when you can get some practical skills that, you know, might be helpful for your survival. It's pretty cool. Ooh. Okay. Oh, Wimpy. That's right. You want to see the map. So I was asking if I was too far south. Is just kind of the general indicator that I was looking for. Too far south? Okay. I'm still going to go explore this area because I feel like there's there's something in here that I could definitely get. Um, ooh, poison plants. That's not cool. Uh, Wimpy had let me know there's a pretty good weapon for my build um, that I just haven't found yet kind of alluded to it, but that's about it. Oh no, I'm poisoned. Funky smell, but they keep bugs away because of it. Well, that's good. Bones. Uh, I think that was wimpy, um, Danger Man. Yeah, I want to see what's up here. before I get too far. Oh, I'm gonna die. Let's see here. Um, so I need cave moss. Okay. Can I use anything to cut this poison at this point? Probably not. Okay. Just got to outlast it. Let's keep climbing. Oh, no. We got to heal. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Okay. I think there was a person shooting arrows from up here. Though. There's got to be something. Hey, thank you for the resub. Um, please correct me if I mispronounce your name again. It's Zerfi, correct? Because I know I was asking last time you were here um, before I took a break um, for some holiday. And I think I said Zerfi the first time. So I believe it's Zerfi, but please, please correct me again if I, uh, if I got it wrong. But welcome back. Thank you very, very, very much for that resub. Hopefully you're doing well. And uh, we did get through the rest of Bloodborne. Um, got through Orphan and uh, the final bosses, and so now we are on uh, to the good old Elden Ring. Yeah, and some congrats for Wimpy, too. GG's, dude. Um... 
I don't know if he's about in chat tonight because I didn't see him pop up and I don't want to really call him out if he's lurking. But uh, one of our community members, Shrupti, uh did an Olympic uh, triathlon yesterday. So uh, definitely can't blame him if he's just getting some rest tonight and taking it easy. But uh, some GG's in, in chat for Strupty. Because uh, that's a whole lot of work. And he did many, many, many months of, uh, of training for that. Um, okay, I'm just going to stay away from that thing then. It seems like it has a near unlimited amount of uh, poison pollen. Sounds like something's coming after me. It's due to the music, but uh, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, I think, uh, Zerfi, I think Orphan took me a total of 17 tries. Um, and I think Lawrence maybe took more. I think Lawrence was closer to 20 some tries. Uh, but it felt pretty good to get those, uh, those bosses. They were. They were pretty darn difficult. Oh, here's some bats. I'm gonna have to practice that uh, guard counter because I'm I'm messing with that right now. I keep forgetting how to do that. Yeah, that Lawrence fight is difficult. <laughs> Definitely difficult for sure. Uh, oh, is this NPC up here? Um. Ooh, another one of these. Sweet. Herba. What is this statue? Oh, maybe it's a time of day kind of thing. Oh, guide and gatekeeper for those returning to the roots. Okay. All right. I was kind of heading this way. <laughs> um, I don't know, Arthur. I think it's, um, I think I might need my shield out something like this and then I think I have to press like maybe L2 after like right after an attack yep this was the way this was the way Oh yeah, I forget that I have. <laughs> Ray Ghost, thanks for the confetti, dude. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Oh, there's a side of grace right up here. Very nice. And 
I got to tell you, having a jump button is uh, pretty mind-breaking at times. Because I have to keep telling myself that triangle is uh, like to examine or use items or stuff like that in... Uh, or pick up items in X's to jump. Uh, not enough to level quite yet. Um... Oh, do I have a sacred tier? Okay, nope. Okay. Map time. So there's quite a bit over here. Yeah, I think I'll explore here for a bit and then I'll uh I'll go further north so we can see if I can find this weapon that Wimpy is alluding to. Alright, so this is the cliff that overlooks those guys. We've already done that. I know exactly. If I fall, you're ready for uh, you're ready for it, Arthur. You're ready for it. Um, let's see. Oh, there's a bridge over here. Sweet. Oh boy. There we go. Uh, he looked worse than he was. Um, more bark than bite. Hey, we hope to see you back soon, Danger Man. Uh, hopefully you have a safe trip if you got to drive anywhere. Can we get some hearts and chat for Danger May, please? Uh, let's see here. To pick up all the stuff. Oh, there's one of those uh, torrent thingies. Wind torrent. Oh, let's not fall off, though. That one can drop a semi-decent weapon. So he might be worth farming then. Oh, ouch. Oh, he was kind of weak. Okay. But he was kicking out that poison. Not a fan of that. Not a fan of that. All right. Part of the problem is I don't want to approach these areas too fast if I'm getting <laughs> into like a crazy mini boss or something. Jellyfish.
pretty happy until you attack them. So I'm just going to let leave them be. They seem pretty peaceful. <laughs> Cuttlefish. <laughs> oh, cool. Got another catacombs. We never went back to that first catacombs either. We must fight to run away. Oh. Okay, can he traverse that? Oh, I need uh, the, the stone key thing, which I have a couple. There we go. Get that one. Come on, get that one. Very good. <laughs> uh, does that actually work though, Arthur? Oh yeah, that it does sound like uh, weird revenge. I think what he means is on the sting itself, but I don't think that works. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the steps. Oh, hello. Grave Glowwort. It's a pretty cool place. Okay, let's uh Oh no. Get out of there, Wooly. Let's uh, lure this guy away from his arrow buddies. There we go. There we go. All right. That one scared the daylights out of me. <laughs> I did not hear him. Google says it's a myth. Okay, I thought it was. Um... Illusionary? No, just people playing tricks. All right, so there's something that way. Is there anything this way? Okay, let's continue. Uh, the music is very eerie in here. Very eerie. Hello, buddy. Okay. Ooh, 
barely. Oh, no. Right. Okay. Oh, cool. Hope there's not another one over there. Okay, we're good. <laughs> oh, Arthur. It's very atmospheric, almost kind of like a... Uh, not quite ghost sounds, but kind of sounds like it. Uh, those little candles uh, make me think that they're uh, items to pick up. Yeah, this room feels a little sus to me, but... Uh... frames thank you iframes oh that's cool the archers aren't completely helpless they can uh, stab you with arrows that is really cool that is a nice touch That is a very nice touch. Oh, was this uh, what locked the door downstairs? Well, I still need to go see what was back here. Hey, there we go. Oh, nope. Oh, I'm all out of charge. We're in bad territory here. That's okay. That's okay. You know, it's possible to beat all bosses with just consumables. That's cool, too. Uh, I am definitely not going to go that route, Arthur. Seems a bit much uh, for somebody with my skills, which are pretty little. Yeah, there's another one. I hear him. But I do want those uh, rune, those runes for level up. That would be nice. Uh, I don't know. I don't know about that, Jack. It doesn't feel that way at times. <laughs> so I could go that way, but I kind of want those runes.
There we go. I like how you don't have to, at least with these skeletons, you don't have to kill like some necromancer that's reviving them. You just have to hit them again. I do like that. Dude, I see you around the corner. <laughs> oh, jeez. That was a sniper shot there. That was pretty pro. That skeleton is a pro. Zig, zag, zig. If you can dodge an arrow, you can dodge a ball. Wasn't there a second guy, a sword guy in this area? Oh, I know what happened. The one came from the other room behind me. That's what happened. Okay, we're good. Come on. I see you. You see me. Let's have at you. Oh no. <laughs> hey, Allie, welcome in. Welcome in. Was that Skelly dying? He was, Arthur. <laughs> I enjoy the pun too, by the way. It's a pretty good one. Uh, hold on, I got you. <laughs> Allie, um, I know you are near the end of Dark Souls 3, and you just got uh, Nameless, and you also got, um, why am I blanking? Because it was an awesome victory. Um, you got the Princes, you got Nameless, there was another, oh, uh, Frida and um, Slave Knight Gale. And are you streaming uh, Dark Souls 3 again this week? Um, because my goodness, that, that Gale battle was amazing. <laughs> um, welcome in, by the way. I'm doing well. Doing well for a Monday. Hopefully you had a good weekend. It's good to see you. Uh, let's get these runes back for sure. And... Okay, we got a thank you. Very cool. I thought there were more skeletons in here. You know what? I'm just not going to think about it too much. And just get out of here, go back to the, uh, the side of grace so I can uh, recharge my flask and uh, see what uh, this other room is all about. Uh, so anybody in chat, if you can throw some GGs Allie's way, seriously. Uh, those bosses are huge. And especially uh, Nameless was really tough. And Gale is such an awesome fight. Um, Ali has encountered Madeir, so you won't be giving any spoilers away there. Um, but I, I think you got it on the next stream. I really think you do. Madeir is one of those that's going to feel really, really good when you when you beat that dragon. Uh, all right. Is this a boss? Um, tell you what. Um, due to some constructive criticism from Structy, we're going to change our prediction setup for this. And just bear with me because it's going to take just a tiny bit of time here. Um, where's my prediction? 
we're going to change it from a first try to uh, uh, we're going to do a multiple kind of uh, setup for this one. Uh, so I just need to change some text in here real quick. Uh, how many tries? Tries for this boss. And we're going to do... First try. We're going to do... Two to five. Just need to copy a couple more options here. I meant to set this up before stream and just totally forgot. <laughs> so I appreciate your patience. Uh, then we're going to do what, 6 to 10 and then 11 plus. Perfect. Uh, save and then I just need to add a stream deck key for that real quick uh, let's see here mm. here we are okay so did this work how many tries for this boss there we go prediction is open uh, feel free to uh, throw away some channel points should you care to. We're gonna see how many uh, how many attempts this is gonna be because there's no way this isn't a boss. <laughs> In Ali, how is Tears of the Kingdom going? I haven't quite started that yet. Um, I know once I do start it, it's probably going to consume my entire life. So I've uh, <laughs> I've been waiting. I've been waiting on that one. Um, I was trying to think of the other ones. Um, we did recently do a poll on Twitter and in the Discord, and I will be starting Wind Waker after I finish Kingdom Hearts 1. So that'll be my new Wednesday game coming up. And then uh, as soon as I finish Final Fantasy V on Fridays, I'm going to be switching to uh, Final Fantasy 16. All right. All right, predictions still open. Anybody else that wants to throw away some channel points? Um, it is open. I'm going to wait till it ends before I walk in here because <laughs> I don't want anybody, uh, in case I get it on a first try, I don't want anybody throwing some last minute points there. Um, you know what I could do? I could go level up real quick while that's running out. That's what I could do. Allie, do you have any um, other games that you're going to start right after Dark Souls 3? Are you going to take a break from, from software games? Do you plan on doing like a um, Dark Souls 1 or Bloodborne? I know you kind of did a poll, I think, but I, I wasn't sure if I caught the, uh, the outcome of that. Uh, let's see. Let's do some more vigor. I feel like my my life force isn't quite where I want it to be yet, so we're gonna we're gonna go with that. All right, prediction is closed. Let's get in there. Show this boss what we're made of. See if we're appropriately leveled or not. <laughs> Cemetery shade. Oh, he's fast. hurts a lot. Okay. And I'm not going to be able to get many hits on him. Elden Ring is very, very cool, but I will tell you I'm a panic roller and it definitely punishes uh, panic roll. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> Just like that. That's the one thing I found so far is that it really, really punishes uh, panic rollers. But 
but that's okay. Because once you kind of get their pattern down, um, it gets better. Where is he? <laughs> he fell. Bad idea, Arthur. Oh, what is that? That's new. Oh, I didn't mean to heal, but that's fine. Please no, please no. There's no way that's not a one shot. Oh, it wasn't. Nope, okay. <laughs> Better than the first attempt. So that's two. That's two. I think what I want to do for this game, because I'm still pretty early and I know there's a ton of bosses, and if we're doing these multiple tries, I think what I want to do is a uh, on-screen counter for this boss so I can keep track of the attempts um, along with my deaths. So, going to look into that. I think this is try number three. There we go. I think I can hide behind these pillars when he does that too, if I'm close enough. Oh, he hits hard. There we go. He hits really hard. So hard to read too with his actions, but he's got that bleed damage big time. Not good. Oh. No, I didn't mean to crouch. I hate when I do that. Ooh, nice. Ooh, <laughs> lucky, lucky. If I pull it off on this one, it's going to be real, real close. Nope. Not going to happen. Good attempt, though. Probably our best one so far. Yeah, I'd say this is very doable. Very, very doable. All right, attempt number four. Let's get it. Thank you for keeping track, Arthur. I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm getting a little 
greedy for my runes, of course. Dude, the reach on those is insane. real close for a second. Come on, dude. Let's go. boss that doesn't have a clear-cut time to uh, retaliate. Oh, ouch. That scissor. That scissor hit. Really hurt. when he warps around like that. He could just do that charged attack. That would be nice. reach is just incredible. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> he got me. Oh, wow got out of it. Yes, let's go. <laughs> we got a spirit ash summon, which we aren't using yet. Um, I'm going to see how far I can get into the game without using one. Return to entrance. Oh, cool. All right. So four attempts on that one. So let's uh, go ahead and end the prediction there. 
Um, let's see. So that was between two and five. We got some points. Hopefully somebody got some points. <laughs> I see uh, somebody put a, a nice amount of points in the uh, 11 plus category. Very nice. Uh, looks like Zerfi. Zerfi GG's. Got yourself uh, over 2,000 channel points out of that. <laughs> well, cool. We got at least uh, one boss down. And that was from the Tombs Ward Catacombs. Give uh, everybody a little bit of a puppy cam after that one. I think we earned it, right? <laughs> How you doing, Rex? How you doing, Rex? And Lucy's just a tiny bit on camera. Just her feets. Just the little puppy feet. Um, let's see here. Wimpy said we needed to go further north. I don't think we really explored this area or even over here. So let's go check that out. Maybe let's warp to this one. See if that gets us like in the ballpark. And I know some of that was probably hidden by the puppy cam, so. Um... So I know we want to go south from here. Hey, hey! That's my beer! That's my beer, but you're more than welcome to grab a pint and chill out here. Uh simples. Um, please, please help me with the pronunciation of your name because I want to make sure I get it right. Uh, is it just simples for CK or, uh, is there, uh, oh, Zach. Okay. Okay, good. I'm, I'm awful with like the, the numbers that are also letters. I don't know what it does to my brain, but, <laughs> but, uh, Zach and Raiders, welcome on in. My name is Uncle Wooly. This is my first playthrough of Elden Ring. Uh, hopefully you had a wonderful stream. It looked like you're playing Elden Ring as well. Let me give you a shout out here. Um, uh, yeah. And if you have uh, Raiders, if you have preferred nicknames, preferred pronouns, feel free to let me know. I do want to make sure you feel welcome here. And let me give you just a little bit of puppy cam. Uh, since it's your first time around here. Uh, the Jack Russell on the left is Roxy. She's 14. The Shih Tzu on the right is Lucy. She's now five years old, celebrated her birthday last week. And both of them are just infinitely more adorable and awesome than I could ever be. So people really hang out for them. And they tolerate my mediocre gameplay and very terrible puns in the meantime. <laughs> but thank you very, very much for sharing uh, your community over with the raid. And uh, please, 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 if you do need a raid and run, don't think it's any offense at all. Please uh, take care of your post-stream self-care needs if you need to, whether that includes hydration, food... Or just a little bit of break from the screens, because I understand you just got done streaming, and that can take uh, a lot out of a person. So, And just, uh, you know, going through battles in Elden Ring can be that way, too. <laughs> but uh, you're also more than welcome to stay as long as you wish. I'm not kicking you out by, by any means. Um, so I don't want to give you any spoilers in case it's a, it's an early uh, uh, playthrough for you. But I did get um, all the way south. I got this boss down here. It was uh, Leonine uh, Misbegotten in the castle Morne or Morn. And then I also made it up to Stormvale. And uh, we got Margit uh, at the end of last stream. Ate a lot of spaghetti. That sounds really good, though. Sounds really good. You know what? I think I can handle these guys better uh, without the horseback combat. Oh, 
I'm doing very good damage on these guys. Feels a lot better than the first time I came through here. <laughs> yeah, I'm up at, uh, what was it? Rune level 25 now, I think. Yeah, 26. Only about uh, nine... What did it say? How many hours in? Oh, oh. Not in a safe spot. <laughs> bad at the uh, the mounted combat but sometimes it's it's nice um, let's see here what I need to do is see what's up there and I need that road to do it so I need to go back this way And Zach, are you uh, quite a ways into the game? Are you on a first playthrough as well? Are you returning to the game, uh, preparing for the DLC? Are you doing any challenge runs? Uh, feel free to let me know all about it. First playthrough as well, very cool. Um, so in January of 22, before uh, the game came out, I embarked on a journey to do all of the FromSoft games, with the exception of Sekiro. I'm saving Sekiro for afterward. But I set out to do uh, Demon Souls, Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3, Bloodborne, and now Elden Ring. So I finally got here a couple weeks ago. And what we've been doing on these playthroughs is I've been naming the character after some of my dogs and also uh, a couple of the uh, community members' dogs. And so, and it's something I didn't think of until Dark Souls 1. So, Demon Souls was just named after me, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, but Dark Souls 1 was named after Roxy. Dark Souls 2 was named after Lucy. Um, 3, we named after community member Strufty, his dog Daisy. And then uh, Bloodborne, we named after um, Wimpy Ostrich's dog, uh, Rocco. And this one we're naming after Papu. Papu is a puppy of ours that passed away in 2020. And so that's what we named our character after and kind of modeled the look after here too. And he was a bit of a bandit, so that's the, the starting class we went with. So a little bit of the uh, the rhyme and reason behind the uh, unique name to the character and uh, and all that. Wait, did he drop something? Yeah, he did. Or it did. It was a pile of rocks. <laughs> uh, did I? Oh, there we go. Oh, this is one of those uh, little warp uh, things. And there's a thing in the area. You know what? Let's uh, let's throw a prediction. And if this one proves too difficult on the first try, uh, then I can cancel the prediction and get your points back. But how many tries for this one? I'm going to do first try, 2 through 5, 6 to 10, or 11 plus. Yeah, kind of does look like a bunch of coconuts, doesn't it? And while that prediction's going, I'm just going to take care of these other dudes up here. This game is absolutely stunning, though. I mean, the visuals are just... <laughs> so good. I did really love Bloodborne, though. Um, yeah, I think it really meshed with my play style. I'm a pretty nervous player, and I like to uh, 
nervously hack at things um, when I get panicked in addition to some panic rolling. So I think that worked well for uh, Bloodborne, but for here, not so much. Not so much. King right. Shark is a shark. <laughs> that is true, Wimpy. King Shark is definitely uh, a shark himself. In a shark week over with, uh, was that last week? Or is it, do they have a shark month now? But uh, with King Shark, he's always a shark. Regardless of what week it is. Uh, is that one still crawling around too? Yeah, let's get that one. All right, prediction's almost up here, so let's go ahead and see what this is all about. Yeah, let's enter the Ever Jail. Oh boy. Bloodhound Knight Darawell. reminds me of Dancer uh, from DS3. Dancer in like the first phase of uh, Gale. Let me heal it all, dude. Nope, I'm out of Estus or out of flasks. <laughs> Super aggressive. Super aggressive. Trying to get through the next area. Um, so whereabouts are you at? Um, Zach, are you right around kind of the similar part of the game or are you quite a bit further in? He gives no opportunity, Wimpy. That's the problem. Yeah, that was attempt number one. Forlorn Hound Everjail. Let's go again. This one I feel like might be doable. I just need to be better. If I could get the bleed to proc on him, that would be super nice. What are you doing crouching?
Oh, no. I pressed dodge, but it just didn't happen. That was a good attempt. <laughs> that was a good attempt. That was a good attempt. My goodness. So, uh, sorry for those that were stuck in Adlan during that. And also for those wondering, um, uh, the death, uh, thing in the, the spelling that Arthur is using is a, is an inside joke, um, that Arthur likes to use here. So just in case anybody was wondering, or we have others that are, uh, uh, hearing impaired, it, it is an inside joke from, from Arthur. So just, uh, letting you know. My goodness, that was insane for a second. Come on, dude. Oh, too soon. That was maybe the worst attempt yet. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. This is a cool fight, though. I think this was very doable. To be a <laughs> yep, it does, Wimpy. But he's the gangster, and I'm very much not. Uh, let's try again. Yeah, I did miss that. I'll try that this time, Jack. I'll, at least I'll take it into heavy consideration. Smithies? I'm beginning to think that Homer Simpson was not the brilliant tactician I thought he was. <laughs> Wimpy. Thank you, dude. That was bad. Oh boy. <laughs> this one's going not great. It's burning through flasks here. HP in a dream, right? Yeah. 
I knew that one was not a good attempt. <laughs> This one feels very doable, though. It, it really does. It really does feel quite doable. Uh, I am using the uh, great knife. I could try the flail. You know what? Let, let's try the flail. Why not? Thanks for the puppy cam, too. Yeah, Roxy sure is a tired doggo. That's good damage. Yeah. There I was just not even trying. We'll get it. We'll get it. That extra damage and the reach is pretty nice. So that might be what we go with. This feels about on level with uh, Leonine, the Misbegotten. About on par with that. Oh, that's right. I missed my runes the one attempt. All right. So we can uh, definitely not focus on our runes anymore. And just uh, concentrate on ruining this guy. You know that free hit? It's pretty nice. Oh, that was oh, good time to heal, I guess. Really bad time to heal. He is cool, though. He's very much a dance with this boss. And as you can tell, my panic rolling still knows no bounds. Okay. dude. Arthur, thanks for keeping track, by the way. All right. Oh. 
doing too bad here. This is where I'm getting just sweaty. Okay. He is so aggressive. Nope. 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 I got too hungry there. Way too hungry. Way, way too hungry. Okay. Dang. Dang. He was good. <laughs> I was hoping for that move, too. And he just dashed Whoa, away. <laughs> that was close. It was close, Wimpy. It was close. All right, this might be it. Hey, go welcome back, dude. Or, you know, just hello again if you never left. <laughs> that wasn't such a free hit like I thought it was going to be. That's what I needed there at the end. If you could have done that and stayed right there, that would have been perfect. Yeah, that seems to be the safest retaliation is dodge that way. And just strafe to the side. As long as he just doesn't dash out of the way right away. And it's uh and it's all good. <laughs> Bedtime, now it's dead time. <laughs> That's fair. Alright, give me your claw drag thing. Not the sword, the claws. There we go. Nope. That was on me. That was a bad one. Oh, that's a good one, too. I need to not be so shy on that one. Come on. drags, please. There we go. Oh, 
There it is. Oh no. Not good. I got a little too complacent with that one. Little too uh, complacent. All right. You're going to play nice, Darwell. This is a cool battle. Nope. Felt I had it, and I didn't. I would say in the next three tries, it's very doable. This one's cool. At least he feels fair without being... I don't know. Like, at times, Margit's uh, combos and his follow-ups just felt a little too quick. And just a little bit uh, too punishing. So, attempt number eight. We're just not going to... Oh, missed both of those. <laughs> nope. Come on now. Shoot, shoot, shoot. <sighs> okay. Uh, Sonic, I am enjoying it quite a lot. Uh, to be honest. It's the uh, boss timing is a little uh, not good for panic rollers like me, but I, I think I'll get used to it. First Souls game ever. Uh, and then I'm guessing you played some of the other ones, if not all of them, after this one. And if so, what were your uh, what were your thoughts on the others? I'm curious. Did they feel a little slow and clunky in comparison? <laughs> There's something to be said about that slow, methodic uh, combat, too. Three was pretty good. I do agree with you there. I did enjoy three a lot. Okay, come on. Nice. Okay. 
hey, that's it. <laughs> yes, we did it. <laughs> Ooh, the Bloodhound's Fang. Thanks for the GGs. I need to take a peek at that. I need to look at the, uh, wait, I think it's still going to be the Chocobo because I haven't reset it from Friday. <laughs> it is. <laughs> uh, let me change that, Arthur. I need to look at... Uh, the side of life. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, let's see here. Equipment. What stats? Uh, okay, strength isn't quite where I need it to be, but I could two-hand it, I think. Oh, look at the blood loss. And it scales with dex. Is this it, Wimpy? Curved greatsword with a gently undulating blade wielded by bloodhound knights. A fearsome blade capable of brutal airborne attacks. It is it. Excellent. Slash upwards with the bloodhound's fang using the momentum of the strike to perform a backward somersault and gain some distance. Ooh, that is nice too. Follow up with a strong attack to perform a bloodhound's step attack. Let's take a peek. Oh, we still don't have the stats. Oh, man, that is cool. Okay, so... Oh, that is legit. <laughs> Dark Souls 3, 1, Second Row, Dark Souls 2, Demon Souls, Bloodborne. Uh, but you only finished a couple of them. Um, so out of those other ones, besides... Uh... Uh, Dark Souls 3, which was your favorite? And uh, which ones did you finish? I was wondering if it was ever going to run out of... Oh, is this one where I don't have the... Yeah, I need to two-hand this to make it worth it anyway. We don't have enough to level up quite yet, do we? But uh, maybe we have... Yeah, we have some runes that we can use. We finished uh, three and one. I got far in Demon Souls, but got stuck. Um, was it at the Poison Swamp? Because the, the poison swamp in, in Demon Souls is something that will uh, make one question their sanity. Uh, that's 100% certain. Okay. Yep. That's fair. That's fair. I totally understand it. Uh, it made me feel like rage quitting. <laughs> Big time. <laughs> um, Alright. Let's rest here. Can we, ha uh, can we level up yet? Yeah, let's go ahead and do strength. And see if we have enough here. We have enough for the flail without being two-handed, but can we two-hand this? Not yet. I forget what the multiplier is. Is it 2 or is it 1.5? I guess it's probably 1.5 because 2 we'd already have enough. Right? So we need, what, probably level 12? At least. It's pretty cool, though. Throw our dagger back on. I'm curious. I haven't... Uh, tried to two-hand or to dual-wield. Oh... That is sweet. Um, I 
Okay, so you don't even have to do anything special. You can just uh, start pressing L1 and... You're doing a Pyromancer build? Okay. On on Demon Souls? Uh, I didn't ditch it. I don't have the requirements yet. Hegel. Oh, Dark Souls 3. Okay. Are you doing any type of um, challenge run with it? Other than just doing a Pyromancy build? Oh. No, I didn't invite the others. Who invited the others? Who did that? Okay. There we go. Yeah, I'm liking this duel with you. That's pretty nice. I didn't mean to do that. Let's acquire materials, please. Thank you. All right, got the room. Okay. Yeah, I just don't have the stats to use it quite yet, Hegel, but we'll get there. You know what, now that we've gone back and done that whole sword thing, uh, let's see what the uh, main game has for us uh, in Stormvale. It was you, Arthur. You invited them. How dare you? I said only a plus one. And that was two. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. The more the merrier. The more the merrier. It looks like I could drop onto that. But I don't know where that goes. Yeah, we could try it though. Why not? Why not? Let's go this way. Some more fire grease. That's pretty nice. Okay. And we're... Oh, this is back around by Margaret's area. Ah, okay. What am I looking, Arthur? Not, uh, not sure what you mean. I doubt I can even get in here yet. Come oh. Come over here, won't you? Okay. You, you're, you're tarnished, aren't you? I would advise against taking the main gate into the castle. It's tightly guarded by hardened old hands. Oh, tr tr try the opening right here. The guards don't know about it. You'll breach the castle undetected. Oh, I looked lonely. Okay. <laughs> oh, sure. Yes, that's the spirit. You're just the kind of tarnish that I like. This guy's got some patches energy. Just I pray for you. Got some real patches energy. Don't know why. These games have made it to where I just don't trust anybody. Oh, and jumping. I keep forgetting about jumping. It's not good that there's a blood stain there.
Oh, nice. There we go. There we go. Okay. Oh, smithing stone too. That's very nice. Oh, side of grace right there. I don't know about this uh, drop off though. Let's go back over here. That sounds not great. Oh, birds with talon swords? This is wonderful. This is wonderful. Come on. Come on, Prince Leo. Thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Thank you for the 12 months, dude. Thank you with your uh, crazy amount of generosity. That is very, very kind of you. Thank you for 12 months. Big cheers to you, my friend. Can we get some big hearts in chat for uh, Prince Leo, please? And you know, our puppies are just a little bit restless, so I uh, hate to take a break uh, so quickly here, but we're going to take about a five minute break and uh, we'll be back with more of uh, Stormvale Castle. So, yeah, they're just uh, in need of a little bit of OUT time. <laughs> so uh, we'll be back in, uh, in just a few. So hang tight and uh, we'll see you soon. And Prince Leo, thank you very, very much. Seriously. Uh, it means a whole heckin' lot. Hopefully you had a lot of fun with Final Fantasy 16 today. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, big uh, uwu senpai energy there, uh, Barney. music is making her back <laughs> that really did make me Ooh, oof. a difference.
<laughs> Good. Wow, I'm getting a ton of souls here, and this is making me real nervous. Oh no! That's not the real spider. -Man. We need a photo here of the real spider. -Man. That's a good framing. Maybe mm, too much. Ooh, I kind of like that one. Let's do that one. Get a screenshot of the real Spider Man. There we go. The twist headband needs the fabulous power sash to go with it. Maria is just gonna have this rockin' outfit that, while it's not like super strong, like, because those materials don't seem like they would protect a whole lot, it's just such a fierce outfit uh, that enemies just can't hit you as hard. They just don't want to because it's just that fierce of an outfit. Silent Hill, a quiet little lakeside resort town. We're happy to have you. Take some time out of your busy schedules and enjoy a nice, restful vacation. Row after row of quaint old houses, a gorgeous mountain landscape, and a lake which shows different sides of its Welcome back, everybody. Hopefully you uh, were able to grab yourselves a refill and uh, stretch your legs and, and all that fun stuff. Uh, thanks for hanging out during the break. And again, Prince Leo, thank you very, very much, dude, for 12 heckin' months of support. That is, uh, that's unbelievable, man. Thank you very, very much for that. I'll give you a shout out. If you haven't said hello to Prince Leo when he's live, please do so. Uh, he's currently just started Final Fantasy 16, also does uh, Marvel's Midnight Suns, and uh, a variety of uh, just other games that are just in the JRPG and uh, Marvel realm, and just an uh, awesome human. And does a mean, and I say a mean, um, Squall cosplay. So uh, go say hello to Prince Leo. Uh, that would be much, much appreciated. And he's also got a pupper uh, named Lulu. So also say hello to Lulu. Because the Lulu is super cute. Uh, let's see here. Let's see if we can take this bird down. There we go. I don't think their health pool is too much. It's just, uh, you know, actually being able to hit them without them hitting you. <laughs> and... Let's see what's over here. Looks like more birds. And who did this to these poor birds, too? You know, was this Margaret? Was this, was this somebody else? I know all the soldiers have had, like, Godric uh, names. Because if we look at some of the... Yeah, Godric. So maybe it was Godric that did it. There we go. There we go. Um, so that one I have it play on a on a random shuffle, but I took just clips uh, that people had randomly clipped uh, from the stream and kind of put them in that way. So 
so it does uh, sort of randomize them each time. Or I think it's each time I open OBS, they're kind of randomized, I think. Uh, sort of. So what I did, it was during my two-year um, anniversary stream, is I just took uh, the kind of the top clips from that time period and then just uh, threw them in a, in a playlist and they just shuffle. Oh, there's three? Oh, thank goodness, not all of them came after me then. <laughs> There we go. Uh, the, yeah, these birds are big woof. <laughs> big heckin. Not very likely. I did kind of look through for some spoilers, and I know that one of them um, might be semi-spoilery for um, God of War Ragnarok, and I do uh, need to remove that one. I did remove it from my channel, but I think it might still be in there. Um, so apologies to, to people on that one. That's one I do need to uh, pull out of there. But otherwise, they should be... Oh, gotcha. Uh, I will get that one removed. Uh, so that way you don't have to do that. <laughs> but yep, that one I will get rid of. And I've been meaning to do that, but I keep forgetting. So thank you uh, for the reminder on that, Hegel. No, 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 no. Um, and I don't want to spoil it for anybody else. So uh, yeah, I don't mind removing it at all. Oh boy, I'm going to fall off, aren't I? At sunset when the thrush knocks <laughs> Wooly three times, stand beside the gray stone and the doorway will be revealed, Arthur. Yeah, I can't wait to uh, get started on that game. I was sad that I had to go hard lurk mode on uh, Leo's stream this morning. These daggers are nice and quick. I am digging this, but I, I need something with some reach. That seems like a better shield. Oh, you know what I need to do? Let's do this and get my this dagger. shield there we go there we go oh they're just so quick oh no ouch
Here we go. Yeah, last day of July. I can't believe that. I don't know where the summer is going, but it's going by so dang quickly. Does he turn around? Oh, he does. Is there another guy in here? No? Okay. Ooh, hook claws. Oh. I hear the steps. Somebody. Was a cruel, cruel, cruel summer. Um, let's see. Oh, those scale very well with decks, too. Nice. That's not good. That looks, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say that looks quite flammable. There we go. Oh, what was the blood loss uh, build up on that? 60, that is nice. Dual wield. Oh. Oh, sweet. I don't even need two of them to. Oh, that is awesome. <laughs> I'm digging that. Sorry, I'm just giving this whole place the hero of high roll treatment by just rolling through everything. Yeah, I got some real uh, Wolverine vibes going. Yeah. It's all locked up. It's, uh, ooh, throwing daggers. Very nice. Sword, thanks for the puppy cam. Sword, how are you doing? Hopefully you're doing well. It is always good to see you. Yeah, I'm really messing up their uh, their room aesthetic here. Uh, well, that didn't help me at all. That was just a message. There, doorway, yeah. I don't like that. Bad time to heal. Really bad time to heal. Yeah, I'm gonna die on this one. <laughs> yep. His laugh, he had just that crazy snicker as he locked the door on me. We'll get it. That was cool, though. 
I like that. I'm not trapped in here with you. You're trapped in here with me. I think I might like the daggers in here. Because these are nice, but they're not as quick. Can I sneak up on this guy from... Oh, wait. He already got... That's right. He got triggered by the, uh, the old horn there. Didn't drop anything there. Hope that guy from downstairs doesn't make his way up here. Okay. Let's try this again, but with more flasks. Jeez. <laughs> Just couldn't find a way around him. This feels like a boss, even though it's not a boss. Yeah, I think I want to go back to the daggers. Maybe, uh, no, which way I go here. There we go. Ooh, got his gauntlets. That's kind of nice. See, high ground means nothing. <laughs> Reading about X-23. Weapon 23. Oh, I didn't resolve the last uh, prediction, did I? He said it was the eighth attempt. So we need to get uh, that last prediction figured out. My gosh. Gross tremor moment. So we had between six and ten tries. Uh, one person. And they're getting a payday because they didn't put in too many uh, points on that. <laughs> That's you, Arthur. Three point one thousand. All to Arthur. Good work, dude. I 
I didn't play, but I did win. Well, you know, everybody's a winner around here, Hegel. Everybody. Yep, I think I like these better. Oh, that was pretty rude, my guy. But Arthur was a true winner there. All right, let's see if we can do this. And his uh, his storm stomp is uh, something crazy. <laughs> that is funny. That is funny. fell off the ledge there. Yeah, not a fan of these guys. They fight a little dirty. There we go. There we go. Daggers are just so fast. I love it. You can actually get upstairs with... Uh... More flasks on hand. That would be nice. Hey, Zenvin. Uh, Elden Ring has been going quite well. Um, we did get two bosses. We got a Catacombs boss and uh, one of the Everjail bosses tonight so far. And we got Margit at the end of last stream and uh, Leo9 Misbegotten uh, last stream as well. So we're making some good progress, I think. Um, how far did you get in the DLC for uh, Dark Souls 1? I saw you got up to Manus, but uh, did you uh, claim victory over the uh, Father of the Abyss? DLC is done, so that means... Did you do Calamite as well? My goodness. GG's, dude. Huge GG's. Yeah, you were really moving. Holy cow. I want out of here. I want out of here. Let's fight in the open. 
Um, so is that just main game left then? Oh, this guy's a jerk. Just Gwen left. So you did you did all of the were you setting out to do all bosses? Um did you do painted world, all that extra stuff? Because if so, dude, that is amazing. You've uh, really breezed through that game. Yeah, big GG's uh for Zen. Big GG's. And if you haven't been over to Zen's channel, please do it. Um, Zen visited during our playthrough of Bloodborne. They were also playing Bloodborne. And uh, Zen does a lot of cool stuff like playing Elden Ring on uh, DJ Hero. Where is he? <laughs> he fell. Uh, Elden Ring has been going really well. I'm, I'm having trouble with the. Uh, I'm a panic roller. <laughs> so uh, when you panic roll constantly, um, this game really doesn't uh, take too kindly to that. It just really doesn't. See, I'm a panic roller, and then the game says, and I took that personally. <laughs> Usually I can get through it, but that time, not so much. <laughs> All those runes, no. All those runes. I wonder if I need to level up and just use that sword that I got. Uh, do we have enough? Probably not, but it's worth a try. <laughs> that is true, Prince Leo. Um, so we got this sweet uh, Bloodhound's Fang that I think is going to go really good with this uh, build, especially the uh, that blood loss is pretty nice, but... Uh, I need to level up to be able to use it. Enjoy your hydration break there, Hagel. Look forward to seeing you soon. You win some, you ruin some. <laughs> exactly. All right, just back up the correct way down these stairs. That was close. Yeah, I think I'm going more for a dex uh, build on this one. And it seems like the bleed damage is a little overpowered, which I quite enjoy. Good one, Wimpy. I love the puns that are floating around tonight. You guys are awesome.
<laughs> Shame. Shame. Hegel. Shame. There's no shame in a good pun, Hegel, okay? No shame in a good pun. There we go. Uh, let's just get this guy. Here we go. Oh, I just love these daggers. If they just had better reach. And if I could get a backstab on Big Boy in here, that would be nice too. Yes. Let's go. Got so much reach. It's insane. Ah, oh, that second attack, man. <laughs> oh. Hey, they got uh, another song for you with the. Yep. Yeah. Hot stuff, baby. You got that hot stuff. All right. Come on. Hey, rude. I'm not using the power of the elements against you. Okay? some hot stuff, baby, this evening. Here we go. They usually have a good delay between those, but that time, no. Fire bombs on auto. Should level up uh, the one dagger, too. That would be nice. Very rude of your entire crew, dude. these runes and at least uh, you know hopefully get a level up sometime soon There we go. 
go. Oh. I've just been ignoring this the entire time. Let's go check this out. Yeah. Goodbye, dude. Nice. Oh, stop. <laughs> I had no idea he was coming down. Okay, that goes back to where I was at. Oh, hey. Didn't even notice that. It's a nice way to add three extra enemies to a already precarious route as it is. One HP in a dream. See if we could just get him to do that one more time. roll. Panic roll. Good for some panic rolls. If only could get that twice in a row. Oh, that would be so nice. That was almost a falling death right there, and that would have been very embarrassing. Not too bad. Not too bad. Ooh, that was gutsy. There we go. Not too bad. Getting there with a little more flask this time. Spoke too soon. Eh, still better than one, though. Still better than one. go. What we need is that charge attack again. That nonsense. Come on. Come on, we're distance for it. Ah, uh, come on, dude. Yes. <laughs> Let's go. 
<laughs> oh, that's stressful. Let's go. That feels very good. Revenge is very nice. <laughs> and there's a chest back there, too. Ooh, curved sword talisman. What do we got there? Guard counters, okay. I think when we get uh, that sword and a shield going, we should be pretty good. There we go. That's what we needed all along. Thanks for the GG's, Hegel. <laughs> that one felt good. That one felt pretty nice. Just needed to be patient and not panic roll. Imagine that. Oh. Yeah. There went the element of surprise. Yep. No. Oh. Must have killed himself. <laughs> or somebody else. Just get the back set. Must have been somebody else. This feels like bait. Okay. It's not. That's cool. Yeah, that is true, Hegel. Sometimes you get burned. Oh, ow. Dude, anybody warn you not to sneak up on people? Might be holding sharp daggers or something. Silver pickled foul foot. Okay. Pickled bird feet. That's interesting. Not going to judge. Give up. Wonderful. Does he actually come out here? I could do it, but not. It's called Wrangle. I don't know if I've ever heard that. I, I know the concept of what you're talking about, but I didn't know there was an actual like term just for that. It's interesting.
Oh, camera, stop it. I hate that the auto lock on also flips the camera around. Even when you feel like you're in range, it's awful sometimes. We got his clothes. That's pretty cool. Nice. Yeah, let's just forget about them. Or are they going to follow us? trying to. I'm one of those people that struggles with the distance on a backstab, and so I'm happy to see that they've... Uh, Giving you the ability to actually walk into the back of the enemy. And still not alert them. So you kind of have that extra assurance, if you will. I'm going to wait till he gets by my runes so I can pick those up after I stab him. hoping he would maybe eat himself into the uh, chasm here. There we go. Get up. Nice. Now that was proper revenge. That looks like death, so I'm not going to go down there. Let's run ourselves right up here. Of course the contraption doesn't move. I mean, look at this ballista in the corner. I mean, look at the timber and how thick it is that was used to make that. That's just insane. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> oh, side of grace. That is very nice. That's true, Arthur. That is true. Uh, let's see here. Here we go. Broke his poise, but we need to break his friend over there. Uh, 
Yeah, I don't trust that. I don't know how I got over there, but it's not going back the way it <laughs> the way it came. So we're just gonna go this way. Contraption. Contraption doesn't move. I was trying to think of, you know, what, what spurred that uh, <laughs> line of thought. Yeah, the contraption. Oh. Wonderful. Oh, boys. Yep. me into a corner. Nothing I could do. Well, that was the whole army at once, right? Or at least a small battalion. Heck with Archer Boy over there. Yeah, you're not calling anybody. Not this time. This is the much better way to go about this. <laughs> I started it blast. Like bang, bang. Wow. Oh, I don't see so good, so I missed. Then they ran away. I ran after Ran him. after Bang! Try to shoot him in the back. But I don't want so, so good either. I don't so good either. AJ, thank you, dude. How's it going? How's it going? How was stream? Hopefully you're doing well. What were you playing again tonight? Because I think you finished Alien Isolation, right? And you were doing Viewfinder. RE2. Oh, excellent. The remake, right? Uh, how far did you get? How far did you get tonight? I'm going to have to check out that VOD. That is, uh, that is a fun game. I really enjoyed the RE2 remake. I know it's kind of divisive uh, amongst the uh, Resident Evil fan group, but I enjoyed it a lot. I enjoyed it a lot. Ooh, you got to the dark room. Okay. Okay. 
So you got through some pretty intense moments there then. <laughs> some pretty intense moments at the beginning. Ah, oh, more of the birds. More of the murder chickens. <laughs> Bit more brave after playing Alien Isolation. That's fair. That is fair. I totally get that. So they're throwing barrels at me now? This is ridiculous. Yep, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> What in the Donkey Kong Country 2 is this? <laughs> yep, just throwing barrels. Well, this is not the same uh, same place Diddy Kong went to, I can tell you that. We're not in Kong Country anymore. I think Strufty alluded to these birds. And maybe I just didn't believe him. Swift. Ooh, boy. That's insane. There we go. Get him. Let's go. This is barrel bird country. Exactly, AJ. Won't lose my will to stay, but I try. I, I. <laughs> okay. It's over here. Please, no more burbs. Please, no more burbs. It is uh, honestly one of their uh, my favorite albums of theirs, to be honest. Oh, dude. Nope, 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 nope. Uh that hurts. That hurts a bit. This game is pretty punishing. See how the flail does against these. Or maybe even just a longer weapon. Hey Rosa, welcome in. Good to see you. Good to see you. How was uh, your stream today? How was Final Fantasy 16? I was uh, doing a silent lurk, so I didn't get any spoilies, but uh, hopefully you had a lot of fun. I hope the suffering has been great. It's always great with Elden Ring. <laughs> always good suffering here. Avenge Sevenfold was there on Saturday night. And you didn't go why, Hegel? Okay. 
Oh, you know what? The flail might be it for these things. Uh, the daggers just have such a limited reach. <laughs> Yeah, this is this is rough. Uh, they played mostly new stuff. Oh yeah. To be fair, I'm not a huge fan of their newer stuff either. So there we go. Nope. Nope. Don't want to lose my runes that are down there. So we're gonna be patient, hopefully. time yes there we go <laughs> for a moment because i just woke up it was uh it was great um oh yeah sorry time uh time zones are a thing yeah always have so much fun with that game thank you for the lurks yeah uh got under oath and the ghost inside tomorrow oh you're gonna have a blast aj that's gonna be a really good time that's going to be a really good time. And who did you see last weekend, too? Or last week? Because I know you uh, went to a concert or two last week. Uh, going to Paramore on Wednesday. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord, yes. <laughs> Hegel. That is awesome. I haven't listened to too much of their newest album yet, though. There we go. Stinking burbs. Warhawk's Talon, Flight Pinion, and Smithing Stone. Uh, let's see what's down here. another side of grace because my goodness this has been ridiculous <laughs> okay there's a ladder there we got some items here Wary a weak foe. Oh, we got a church. An NPC, maybe? Yeah. Ah, nice to meet you. The pleasure's mine. Roger is the name. A sorcerer, as uh, you might have guessed. Ah, Roger. For a little something here in the castle. Well, nice. I'm not hot footing it from the troops, that is. But enough about me. What are you doing here in Stormvale Castle? This place is bristling with tarnished hunters, you know. They sacrifice our kind for grafting. Um, Not exactly the place I'd stroll into without a purpose in mind. I don't know, Godric, but I'm sure that's what we're here to do, right? I see. Here to challenge Godric and lay your hands upon a great rune, are you? You can see it then, I take it. The guidance of grace. Well, enjoy it while you can. I'm tarnished, like you. But unlike you, I've seen neither hide nor hair of this guidance for the longest time. Still, I won't forget how it felt when I first came here, to the lands between. I'm privy to a few magical battle arts. Would you oh, cool. One? As a fellow tarnished, once guided by grace, sure. I'd love to help you out, if it please. Um, usable on swords as well as pole arms, capable of thrusting. Okay. OK. 
catch up on chat in just a second here. I'm gonna wait on that for now, Roger. But thank you. Oh, keen to learn another back. Um, so AJ, you saw a red jumpsuit last Thursday. Dang, dude. Uh, no artists come to Finland. It seems like no artists really come to my area uh, lately either. Um, and yes, I need to uh, complain louder. <laughs> Last stop before a lot of rural area in a few directions. We tend to be a hot destination. That's true. Um, elder emo in full effect. <laughs> Most memorable NPC. That's a good question. Those sound like fun. Jared. You're a total jokester. <laughs> Live music is indeed uh, very healing for the soul. It is a very, very good thing. Elder Emo in full effect? I thought it was Elder Emo. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Elden Ring. Ah, gotcha. see here okay sorry dudes oh not nope don't want anything to do with that guy can your other guy yep thank you so I think I need to wait in here so I can get a backstab on that dude It's cry with me, Elmo. Oh, Elder Elmo. <laughs> I didn't catch that at first. That's funny. Um, you know it's hard to say. I like the uh the blacksmith in uh at the round table. And I really haven't met a lot other than the the ones there. I was really sad at the uh one NPC that gave me the uh, letter to take to her dad at Castle Morn. And I took it there and uh, came back after uh, liberating the castle. And uh, she had fallen, which is very, very sad. Um, I don't know if I met Ronnie, but I met a witch at the one place just outside of uh, the one church last time. It was like a, it was a witch with, uh, you know, big hat and everything. Oh, that was her? Okay. Yeah, during the night. Yep. Big hat witch. Here we go. Get the backstab. Not as good as the uh, daggers. That's unfortunate. Yeah, the moon was absolutely stunning. I hate these guys so very much. Oh! I'm alive? How? How? I'm sure to die now. There, I mean, there's nowhere I can go. <laughs> Lose all runes by return. Oh, that stinks. I'd rather die if, I mean, if my runes are going anyway. <laughs> Where is he? Oh, I fell, Arthur. <laughs> fell. Yeah, the witch, uh, Rena. Rena was the one I met. Um, I don't know if Ronnie and Rena are different, but, uh, see, I'm gonna lose them anyway, so I might as well just try to Yep. 
Oh, that was funny. Yeah, I'm not going to quit out. Festive Tomato, good to see you. Good to see you. And you got a uh, gift sub courtesy of uh, Quantum uh, Flounder. So enjoy those emotes. Enjoy the ad free. Good to see you. Yep. The real the real boss of these games. for the beer welcome on in <laughs> just doing a little nighttime feed with the newborn well hopefully it's going well hopefully it's going well and hopefully the newborn is doing well too uh, let's see here There's one down. The real boss was the friends we... Oh. That's a bit morbid, Coco. <laughs> Not supposed to do that to friends. You staying up late to uh, watch the uh, soccer game? Enjoy the lurk, uh, Hegel, by the way. Enjoy the lurk. Good to see you. Uh, we're not going to mess with that one back there because we already got the loot. You have about seven hours. <laughs> Let's see. You know what? Let's... Uh... A door. Oh, it's this uh, one over here. Nope, not that one. I need. I want my daggers. They have better backstab. Even if I only get one of them, it's worth it. Um, I couldn't do that, Hegel, because the, uh, the enemy was aggroed. It wouldn't let me do it. <laughs> Can we get some hearts in chat for Hegel, please? Have a good night, dude. Enjoy your slumber. stay on the right side this time. Ow. Can you stop it? This guy is so mean. Just do your big charge up attack so I can so I can dodge it like last time. Please? Can you just can you just Do the do the thing. Do the that thing and then that thing. Yes. Very nice. Very nice. Yes. <laughs> Very good. Very good. That's what we like to see.
Coco, how are you doing? Hopefully you had a good weekend. Happy Monday. Oh, yeah. I, didn't, I suppose I didn't give you the beer. Thanks for the beer. Um, the poster that I got with the game, uh, that picture down there is uh, the same. As that poster. That's pretty cool. Got to get more to drink. Hey, stay hydrated. Stay hydrated. Been a hot one this summer, so gotta gotta stay cool. Oh my lord, this is, oh yeah, that is definitely a monstrosity. Those guys are a lot easier than their their shielded counterparts. Mimics Veil, okay. Uh, I never took a look at uh, some of the other stuff I picked up by. to mimic nearby objects. Okay. Very cool. Let's see here. Oh, there's a way down that way, but there was also this over here. Is this worth... Can I get back over? Looks like it, possibly. Hopefully I just didn't really mess myself up with that. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. This castle is just breathtaking. Oh, and I can get back in there that way too. Oh, uh, got an eye itch. Itch. Aha. Yeah, this is very uh, disturbing. Yeah, too much uh, flesh just 
pinging about. Oh no, not good. And just brute force that. He's got a shield on. Oh no, I'm stuck. This is not good. This is not good at all. Did I lose him? down. Oh, he's trying to shoot right there. There we go. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it is uh, not enjoyable. You know, another side of grace would be just super, super friendly. And not have to fight whatever that creature is up there. Or whatever might lie below. Oh, no, 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 no. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, he stayed put. That's good. Oh. He is not so much in stay put mode anymore. Dude, don't throw rocks. That's just mean. Just hope that that thing back there hasn't seen or caught on to the commotion out here yet. Oh no, it has. was no fun. So maybe what we do is run through all this. Oh, wow. That was very lucky.
Maybe he'll forget about me. I don't know how that dude didn't see me. Uh, yeah. That's what we're doing here, Arthur. It's called surviving. Is it not brave? Correct. It is not very brave. We are surviving. I doubt that thing can make it through here. Surviving. Surviving. Sometimes surviving and living are maybe two different things. Oh, that's like the uh, tutorial boss from the uh, beginning of the game. That's what that thing looks like. Okay, this is uh, definitely not something I want to do. That looks like certain death that way. Oh, maybe that uh, that item we picked up. That Mimic... Uh, what was it called? Mimic's Veil? Is very confusing. Don't mind me. I'm just a sentient uh, barricade, just minding my own business. Oh boy. No, stupid, 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 stupid. Silent, welcome in. Welcome in. Welcome in. Good to see you. Oh, you're restarting your Mac? Okay. Oh, boy. That was, uh... Oof. There's got to be, like, a side of race around here or something.
Hey, welcome back. Good to see you, Silent. Welcome in. Welcome in. Oh, that bird has it out for me. There we go. There we go. <laughs> how are you doing? How was your uh, How was your weekend? Hopefully your Monday or Tuesday is going well. I'm not sure what time zone you're in. Good to see you. Oh yeah, they're uh, over here. And they're very angry. Oh, that hurt. Not what I wanted. Oh, this place is so awful. Monday now? Okay. Okay. So, Eastern time zone. Oh, this is rough. This is rough. This might have to be a comeback later area for me. But you know what? Let's try, uh, is it these? I know there were some catacombs we found early on. Yeah, let's go to the Stormfoot catacombs. See if we can get some progress on that one. Yeah, because sometimes it just feels like you're hitting a brick wall and it's just like, oh, let's, let's go find some other place. Yeah, that, that is a big problem with me in open world games. Oh yeah, this one has the little gargoyle imp uh, things. Better than my first outing here, so let's give it a try. Too huge, too much time. That is fair. Um, have you played any of the uh, FromSoft games at all? And uh, how do I pronounce your name? Silent Seal? Am I saying that right? Or CL? And if you have a preferred nickname or preferred pronouns, feel free to let me know. I do want to make sure you feel welcome here. Um, you can just call me CL. Okay. Well, welcome in, CL. Um, I remembered seeing you at Prince Leo's stream earlier today, if I remember correctly. Hopefully I'm not uh, out of place on that one. All right. Ah, I can see a lot of these have similar designs. Oh. Still different enough. Arthur, thanks for the puppy cam. <laughs> at the top of this one. Oh, cool. 
I like how it's similar layout, but still a little bit different. Uh, CL, the uh, Jack Russell on the left is Roxy. She is 14. The Shih Tzu on the right is Lucy. She's 5. And, uh, both of them are just a lot more awesome and adorable than I could ever be. So people really hang out for the puppies. <laughs> and they tolerate a lot of mediocre gameplay and very terrible puns in between puppy sightings. Oh. Those daggers they throw are just ridiculous. There we go. Yep, Roxy and Lucy. They're good girls. They're the good girls. Did I say five or did I say four? I said 14 for sure, but uh, yeah, I'm way too used to saying four year old Shih Tzu, so she did just turn five. <laughs> that is correct. back up this way. They do grow fast. Um, we got Roxy when she was six, um, when we first got our house. And it's kind of, it's been so interesting to see the photos over the years where her like mask on her face is just, uh, you know, you can see the color leaving it. And she used to be just so much, uh, uh, more dark around her face and her eyebrows were a little more pronounced, but uh, you know, she's such a cool girl. Alright. Uh, if there's a boss down here, which I'm guessing it's like the other one, let's get a prediction going here. How many tries do you think it's going to be? Uh, is it going to be a first try? Is it going to be... 2 to 5 is going to be 6 to 10 or 11 plus. Feel, feel free to give away some channel points. All right. Let's see how that prediction is doing. Uh, we got some thinking it's going to take two to five. Uh, you know, I think the... What was the last one? I think it was five or six tries on the last one. Or maybe it was four tries. I don't remember. But we'll wait for the prediction to round out before we start the battle here. I'm hoping it's a little bit easier than the other catacombs that we did, but we'll find out. All right, let's go play. Bird tree burial watchdog, okay. Uh, very unnatural movement pattern. Oh, boy. That's almost instant. Oh, that AoE is not good either. Oh. 
Oh, jeez. That hurt. Oh, this is cool. Come on, dude. <laughs> nope. Close. <laughs> close, close, close. Sorry for those thing, and it was uh, the first try. Thanks for the faith. I appreciate that. <laughs> All right. I think we've got it. You know what? Let's try a different weapon. Let's try... Where's it at? Or maybe we just do the flail. Flail has pretty good damage. Just two hand the thing. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really have much for bows, so. <laughs> and the bosses in this seem to be pretty quick. I don't know if I uh, would benefit too much from a bow battle. Oh, that's good damage right there. Need to obey the delay on that. He is so quick for being so rigid. It's just frightening. This was the weapon to use, that's for certain. Got him. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, that's just not disturbing at all. <laughs> AJ, everybody else, thanks for the GGs. Um, I'm sorry that my ghost is showing, I guess. <laughs> Uh, let's round out that prediction. So that was second try. Looks like that's where the majority of the points were. So it looks like we got a couple people sharing that one. Emmy and Mort. GG's. G heckin' G. Okay. Should we try the Stormhill Ever Jail again? That one seemed a bit rough last time. No, I really haven't gone off this way. Could go do some exploring over there. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go exploring.
for a little bit, for a little bit longer. Where are you at? You? Yeah, you there. Stop for Bird's eye view of the terrain. Okay. That's pretty cool. Oh, those are just beautiful. Not that, I just don't see where you're at. Person who's calling my name. Oi! You, you there. Could you help us out, Cully? <laughs> you? Yeah, you there. Pretending you can't see me. I can't see you, though. Well, why won't anyone look me in the eye? I, I'm not that ugly, am I? No, I just can't see you. Okay, I need to place a marker here. So I know that there's something here. Oi! You, you there. Could you help us out, Cully? Huh. Guess I probably need something to be able to see him, but I just uh, don't apparently have it right now. At least based on the sound. I mean, it sounded like I was close, but uh, it was hard to tell. Yeah, I don't know if I'm ready for this kind of battle yet. bad about his horse though the poor horse you yeah you there stop pretending you can't see me Look me in the eye. I, I'm not that ugly, am I? Looks like he's right here. Enemies on horses are indeed very scary. <laughs> it sounds like he was right around here. Oi! You, you there. Could you help us out, Cully? And you can't see me. Are you this tree? Well, why won't anyone look me in the eye? I, I'm not that ugly. 
ugly, am I? Yeah, I feel like there's got to be something, some kind of way to see who that is. Oh, oh yeah. You, you there. That's a good call. Help us out, Tully. Well, we can go back here and we can make it nighttime. <laughs> Let's see. That's the time. So when I fall. Hey you, you there. You you there. Could you help us out, Tully? Oh. What'd you go and do that for? Oh, yes. I remember. <laughs> Some clod turned me into a tree. <laughs> you were just breaking the spell, weren't you? Thank you. The name's Bok. Hey, Bok. Pushed out of the cave. Told not to come back. Not ever. Aww. Then I ended up as a tree. <laughs> Lucky you came along, really. <laughs> oh, what a shame. When they threw me out of the cave, they took everything I owned. And so this is all I have to express my thanks. Aww. Hope you can forgive me. Dude, you don't have to give me anything. Or I appreciate it, though. If you can afford to wait for a while, I could sneak back into the cave and bring back something of actual value. Then I'd be of some real use to you, I reckon. Aww, what a sweetheart. Right, but I'll need a moment. I'm, I'm frightened of them. So I have to gather myself. My knees start knocking, just thinking about that god-awful cave on the shore. Right, but I'm... Okay. Well, we'll come back here later, then. That's pretty cool, though. Oh, boy. that and then big giants pulling a carriage oh that is a lot of enemy thankfully they weren't aggroed by me oh these ones are though <laughs> Even at nighttime, too, yeah, it just adds uh, that little bit of extra color. Let's see. All right, I've already been that way. I don't need to go that way. Go 
this way, and then there's a branching path right there. This side of grace, sweet. I'm so used to games that have L3 as the run button that I keep pressing that to run with the uh, the mount. Where the path branches, I wonder. Yep. My goodness, <laughs> it is a bit much. I'm both in awe and then also terrified due to uh, a fear of heights. <laughs> I did fall, but... Oh, okay, so that looped back around that way. What is that? Oh, is that the map marker that I need to go to? To fill in that spot of the map? Let's go do that. What is that? Oh, the skull. Yeah, I can pick those up some other time. Head in the right direction here. I just need to meet up with whatever road that is. Oh, there's a side of grace right over there. Very nice. Yeah, it is very beautiful. They've uh, really made a really nice open world to explore in this. Is that the road? I think that's... Nope. It is the road, but I need to go... Nope. Call him back. There we go. up here is the thing that uh, fills in my map uh, for this area. Yep, that would be it. There we go. Oh, wow. I really filled in a lot of maps. Sure, I want to 
tango with that animal, whatever that is. Yep, it is really awesome. Uh, this is somehow, how did I s describe it the other week? Um, I called it Breath of the Wild, but for masochists. Because <laughs> um, the open world uh, exploration feels very rewarding, similar to that, but then you have the uh, difficult boss battles of a, a FromSoft game. Wow. This is extremely deep down. This is cool. Wow. This is beautiful. Anybody else have goosebumps? Because I sure do. My lord. I can understand why. FromSoft has really outdone themselves with this one. Yeah, if it wasn't for the monsters, I agree, CL. This would be a nice place to camp. Who's bringing the snacks? Arthur, you're bringing the... You have Pringles? Okay. There's enemies. Oh, not doing much for damage. There's one behind me. Oh no, that's a... Oh boy, that's a lot of damage. working too well for me. But they move nice and slow, so let's try the daggers instead. Stab is where it's at. There's just so many of them. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Time to munch on the lunch. drawback on the one spear got me. <laughs> so we got two catacomb bosses and one Everjail boss tonight, which isn't too bad.
Yeah, enjoy your lunch, CL. Uh, let's see here. Melted mushroom. These enemies were pretty interesting. Like they're slow, but also quite deadly. Thank you for iframes. Okay, that's the weak one. Ouch. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe I need to rethink my uh, strategy here. This one's not going too well. Not going too well. This one has some pretty good uh, bleed buildup, but I don't know if these things are resistant to bleed or not. Yeah, what I need is to get maybe one or two more levels and get my, uh, get to where I can use that sword that I got. Yeah, that return swipe on that strike is pretty deadly too. Nope. That was a missed opportunity. Nope. Not as good as the dagger. It's not to fight them at all. Why, but this place really reminds me, other than the creatures I was fighting there, it kind of reminds me of uh, like Rivendale in Lord of the Rings in a way, like when they uh, are reading the, uh, the rune map for the dwarves. By the light of the moon, it just uh, kind of has that kind of feeling to it. Oh, 
Oh, not a fan of uh, crappy pants over there. What are moon letters, right? Oh my goodness. Would you look at that? That is absolutely stunning. Wow. Yep. I'm in love with this game, I think. <laughs> this is art. This is absolutely art. All right, let's... Uh... Where's my HUD? I need to turn the HUD off. And then we do we want to wave? Here we go. <laughs> oh, this is just beautiful. This is absolutely an art form. Uh, I'm not sure if you did mention that before or not, Arthur. Uh, but that's pretty cool. Yeah, I just love this. This feels like a boss, though. I feel like I don't have the right equipment. Ah, oh, come on. Can we rate this thing bad? It's a bad message. Oh. Uh, aren't people the worst? I mean, the people that made this game in this beautiful area, amazing. Ones leaving messages like that, come on. <laughs> I'm not even going to bother reading the ones behind it. Yep, that's not the way to go. guessing the thing I lit corresponds to this one. So if I light all of these, I think maybe something will happen. It's my guess anyway. We'll see if that's uh, actually a thing or not. What is this? Didn't mean the emote. Come on now. Uh, I'm going to grab this stuff first. Don't know if you'd hear that, but we got puppy dreams going on.
And Roxy was having some little puppy dreams. Yeah, don't like the looks of these guys, but uh Crabs. Please, no, Mr. Crabs. Okay, so there's a second one lit. So, yep, I do need to light all these up. Please, no, Mr. Crabs. I don't want a Krabby Patty today. Oh. Spirit Vikings are around, so I've got to be close to something I can light up. Not easy, but still uh, better than I expected. Oh, okay. You know what? I think I'm fine calling it there, too. We got plenty to explore next stream, and uh, this is a good place to start. Happy to have seen this, though. This is very beautiful. Nah, you can't let him rest. <laughs> you can't let him rest, CL. <laughs> yeah, he was angry. Krusty Krabs was angry. <laughs> Uh, yeah, if uh, anybody can stick around for the raid, that would be greatly, greatly appreciated. Uh, I need to give a shout out to, uh, we had two raids, one from uh, Yeshi Games and also uh, Simple Zach. Thank you both for your raids tonight, sharing your communities with us. Also a nine month resub from Hegel. Thank you very much, dude. Um, Zerfi with the uh, two month resub. Where's Zerfi? There's Zerfi. And of course, our good friend Prince Leo with an entire year. So big hearts for all these people. Number one to our raiders for showing up and uh, hanging out for a bit, and also to our resubs. Uh, thank you also. I can't forget these, my goodness. The gifted subs from Quantum Flounder. Um, five gifted subs tonight. Absolutely insane. Thank you very, very, very much. Uh, huge, huge, huge thank you. Um, all right. Well, we need to find ourselves a raid target, so let's definitely do that. But uh, I'm going to give you a little bit of background music, and we're going to jump on over to maybe some puppy cam. Here we are.
Twitch, there's Twitch, there's Twitch. Pikmin 4, and for the death of any Pikmin, uh, they're taking a drink, so it's a drinking stream that they're doing. Also, um, B is doing uh, some demo of the Final Fantasy VIII Echo S uh, mod from Suna Mods, which is the uh, uh, has voiceovers and everything added to the game. Otherwise, it's kind of Good friend uh, No Way Jose is doing a Lisa Garland um, cosplay stream of Silent Hill 1. So I know they've been live for four hours. Maybe they're just going to be ending. Uh, they might be ending their stream soon. Hold on, let me check on that. because uh, they have a really awesome cosplay for uh, Lisa Garland. Um, if you're a fan of Silent Hill 1. Yeah, Lucy is a little shaggy right now, but she's getting a haircut um, not next week, but the week after. Or is it next week? No, next week already. My goodness. Yeah. Next Monday. So uh, she won't be too shaggy for too much longer. raid target we could go to is uh, Seth. Uh, Seth in Space is doing a first playthrough of Dark Souls Remastered. We could share the love over there. I think that's a first playthrough. Yeah, it is a first playthrough. Yeah, let's go over there. Um, I haven't been over to uh, Seth's channel in a while, and they have some, uh, some good vibes. So we're going to go uh, share the raid love over that direction. Um, and again, thanks for the raids from Yeshi Games and Simple Zach. Uh, the resubs from Hegel, Zerfi, and Prince Leo. And the five gifted from Quantum Flounder. Well, that's going to be it for me. I should probably go uh, you know, get some sleep. <laughs> that might be a good thing, right? Uh, so let me kick off this raid. And it's going to tell you where we're going and have a link in case you get lost uh, or left behind from the raid and uh, raid messages. The first one will be for subs. The second one will be for non-subs. So if you want to hang out for the raid, that would be super cool. And until next time, my friends, uh, please, please, please take care of yourselves, okay? Um, stay hydrated. Don't stay up too late um, playing Elden Ring and exploring the lands between. Uh, take care of each other, and uh, we'll be back with you on Wednesday night uh, for more Kingdom Hearts. So until then, please, please have a wonderful night. Big cheers, everybody. <laughs>